Yo, what's happening out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the big news that we just got today. Rockstar has released the trailer for the brand new Nightclub DLC. Now, if you want to go ahead and look at that trailer, I'm going to leave a link to Rockstar's Newswire page. And just go ahead and click on that. Watch the video. So pause my video right now. Watch that video. Come back to my video and then keep watching it. All right. So, you know, there's no little spoilers. I mean, it's a one minute trailer, but still check it out and then come back to my video and keep watching it. But uh, yeah, so I'll leave that link in the description. It should be the first one there. But uh, yeah, so like I said in my video yesterday, we should be getting a trailer either today or next Tuesday. And it turns out we got the trailer today and it turns out that the DLC will be coming out next Tuesday, which is the Tuesday coming up the 24th all right so that would be july 24th i said the 23rd in my other video but yeah i meant the 24th we have an official release date all right so we're gonna be talking a little bit about this dlc and this trailer all right and what's to come now gay tony is back all right this is gonna be a good dlc for glitchers as well and this could possibly be the last DLC that we have for GTA 5 online. And uh, like I said, like, you know, guys, that's just speculation. But I will show you what proof I have uh, that I have to back that up. OK, so it's not 100 percent, but it's just speculation and what Rockstar might do. All right. We all know they like to work in patterns sometimes, but they also like to completely ruin people's predictions about, you know, what they're going to do in their games. But yeah, we're going to get into everything in this video, guys. Uh, the first thing we're going to start talking about is Gay Tony. All right. So Gay Tony's back uh, for some of you younger players who might not know the history of GTA. Gay Tony was first introduced in a DLC in GTA 4. It's called The Ballad of Gay Tony. Okay, so that was a DLC back when GTA 4 was out, and it was great. It was an action-packed DLC. Uh, everybody loved it. I really didn't hear any complaints about uh, The Ballad of Gay Tony. It was a really, really good DLC. Now, it ran parallel to the original story, which pretty much everybody liked because the one that came out before that was all about the Lost Biker Club, and it just kind of, you know, went away from the storyline, and it was, it was, it was, it was it, okay, it wasn't bad. It was just not that great okay so that's the best way i can put that not bad but not that great in my opinion the ballad of gay tony was way better it ran parallel to the original story which gave us what we wanted which was more gta uh, 4 all right so that's why we love that dlc now they delivered 100 percent. all right the only bad thing that they probably gave us was the APC, and that was the first time they actually ever introduced the APC, and it had the same, pretty much the same cannons that it has in uh, GTA 5, but those cannons are just, you know, they're, they're shit, honestly, they're terrible, so... Uh, yeah, that was pretty much the only bad thing in that DLC. Other than that, it was great. And it led us to, you know, the game that we play now, which is GTA 5. All right. So, uh, like I said, Gay Tony is back. Now, I found it funny how Rockstar chose to release a DLC with Gay Tony uh, three months before Red Dead Redemption 2's release. All right. Now, some of you might just not even think about this, but when I think back to GTA 4, this meant something, all right? This could very well be our last DLC. And for this reason, Rockstar did this with GTA 4. The Ballad of Gay Tony was the last DLC GTA 4 ever had, all right? It was great, but it pretty much ended the entire game right there. That was it after that, all right? That eventually led us into the game we play now, which is great. And you can tell how it kind of segued into uh, our game, you know, or into the newer version, which made it completely better. But Rockstar likes to go out with a bang, all right? Future DLCs for GTA 5 all depend on the success of Red Dead Redemption 2, in my opinion, which I'm honestly not too worried about. I think that Red Dead Redemption 2 will do great. I don't know if it will have the same lifespan as GTA 5 has had, which has been a few, well, not a few, it's been pretty much five years. So we'll see what happens, but I think Red Dead will definitely be relevant for a few years at least, all right? But we're going to have to wait until December to actually see if Rockstar wants to release another big DLC for this game. Uh, like I said, I think it depends on how well Red Dead Redemption 2 is doing at that time, okay? Because they're still good. they can still make plenty of money off of this game, all right? It's still being downloaded everywhere, so we'll see what they decide to do.
Now, the reason I think this is actually going to be a good DLC for glitchers is because if you actually look at the screenshots that I'm putting up on the screen right now, these screenshots actually display what we see as a garage all right this looks like a garage kind of like the ceo garage and if you look really closely you can actually see it says b2 over there uh you know at the back wall in this screenshot so it looks like we might actually have multiple levels this could be underground below one of the nightclubs that we own but all i know is that whenever there's car storage that definitely leads to more dupe glitches gift cards to friends and even more like otrs invisible things like that now it's really similar to the CEO garage, or at least it seems like it. But uh, yeah, it, like I said, it could lead to a lot more money glitches and a lot more glitches in general. All right. And those CEO garage glitches, when they first came out, were some of the most enjoyable and best ones that I've ever done. All right. So they definitely made me my first like 100 million on my Xbox account. Now, the other things that they actually teased in the trailer are some really, really nice cars. In that parking garage, you can actually see that like Iron Man-esque car that, uh, that Tony Stark actually had in his garage in the movie. It looks pretty much exactly like that one, so we could be getting some really, really cool vehicles. We definitely are going to be getting them. It's a nightclub DLC, and as well as the stretched Hummer, all right, or the Patriot, I guess is what they're going to call it in the game, but basically everybody knows it. That's a Hummer in real life. Uh, we could possibly be getting a new radio station that was leaked, you know, about a month ago, maybe a little bit less than that, but a new radio station with a lot of electronic music. Uh, we're going to be owning nightclubs, guys, so I'm a big fan and I produce electronic music, so I'm really excited to see what this DLC is going to bring. I like the theme. That doesn't mean it's going to be a great DLC, but I do like the theme of it and, you know, the possibilities of what they can do with this. All right. So. That's going to be it for me, guys. I just wanted to make a short video just kind of explaining my thoughts and everything, uh, you know, that was going through my head after I saw the trailer this morning. All right. So my name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.